hello, Jupiter Hadley. Um, this is one of our tutorial videos on how to make a fairly simple game. This tutorial video is going to be partnered with the next tutorial video because, like, you have to start here and get things set up to do the next thing we're going to do, if that makes sense. Um, if not, it's just a pain, really, just a pain in the ass. So, basically, this is going to be a title screen and a scoreboard. But the scoreboard won't be in huge use until there's monsters. See how that works. So, I'm just going to set this up now so that I can make a video with monsters and not have to go back and do all this. And plus, it's nice to have a start screen, you know, all that good stuff. So, basically, over here we have our exit button. And I'm just going to show you how I make a button. So, I'm going to make our start button. Because there's actually some cool stuff that you can do just inside this program. That's awesome. So, I find 96 by 32 is a good size, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to look for a very dark green. You want it probably darker than you think you want it, just because we're going to do some stuff with it. Um, first of all, cancel. Let me make this black. All right, so. Um, start. Awesome. There we go. Start button. Really, really simple. What you want to do is you want to go in and you might want to button ties it, which makes this little, like, buttony ridge on it. You can, you know, make it bigger, make it smaller, smooth the edges, don't smooth the edges. I like mine like that, so that's how mine's going to look. And then what you also want to do is go in and click the intensity button and just kind of have it have a way lighter intensity. Undo that. What am I doing? First of all, you want to copy and paste it, and then you want to go in and have a bit of a lighter intensity and it okay. So we have two different ones. We have a dark one and a light one. I'm going to click OK and there's our sprites. Our start button or exit button. So that's awesome. Um, next we pro uh, next we want to make our um, buttons into objects. So I'm going to do the start button first because you know you would do you'd hit a start button before you'd hit an exit button. So we're going to add event, uh, create, and then do 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 going to look over for under the main one tab is Pac-Man button. Basically, when it's created, we want to change the sprite just into, well, you want to select your start, and you want to put it in sub-image zero at a speed of zero. So what this is doing is basically, when you click edit, you have two different ones. You have image one, and you have image zero. And it's making it so it doesn't blink, it just instantly is image zero. And then you want to add event, mouse, left button. Now when you left click it, um, we're going to do a few things in here just sort of as housekeeping. Um, for our code, you want to put global dot ammo equals, and we have 10. Okay. Now now that that's there, you can go into our player, and we have uh, an execute piece of code. We have global ammo equaling 10 here. You don't want that there. The reason I put that there in the beginning so you can just delete that. The reason I put that there in the beginning was because you need it to shoot in the beginning, but now that you're a bit farther, um, this makes it so that every time you click start, you also, you just instantly get it there, which is, you know, a better place to have it, in my opinion. Um, next, we're going to set lives up, because we need that for later. Um, this is the wrong lives button. We need that square with lives, and we're going to have three lives per game. And we're also going to set it so that under, do, 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 what is it under? Under main one, this little rooms button, it's going to go to the next room when you click it. So it's going to go from room one to room two. And then we're going to add another event. Mouse, enter. And when the mouse enters, we want to bring over our handy dandy little Pac-Man icon. Select our sprite start. And when our mouse is in the area, we want to be sub-image one at a speed of zero. So it highlights. And then when our mouse leaves, we want it to go back, obviously. So select start, zero, zero. Okay. Now, let me create a room real quick. That's an object. Let's create a room as well. We need an object. Let's bring that room up. So with this room, I'm just going to show you how object three, I guess, works. So that's good. You're good. This is going to be for next object. Um, it's going to be good for now. The game's running here. Let's check that out. All right. So now we start off the start menu and see how that highlights. And then you click start, starts the game. Got some ammo. 
Um, believe me, you've got some lives. <coughs> Next video, I'll have on the lives counter and ammo counter and enemies. I don't know. Don't hold me on that. I hope to have. So, we're going to make this our object exit. And I'm going to do essentially some of the same stuff. Um, why are these so big? There we go. Going to add event. Um, create our little Pac-Man guy. Select our exit. We want it to be sub image zero at a speed of zero. So, not at a speed of O. Add event, mouse, left button. So when you click, you want to go under to, to do control. Main. You want to go under main too. Sorry about that. Select the M get end, end game button. Then we want add event, mouse, mouse enter. Um, do to do to do. Little Pac-Man guy. Mouse comes in. We would like it to come, we would like to highlight. So, sub image one. First of all, exit, sub image one, speed zero. Okay. Mouse, just leave, just right button. What's this button? Exit, exit, speed zero. Awesome. So, now that we got that set up, that's okay. We've got a start button, we've got an end button. We have a start button and end button on a screen. It's pretty awesome. Put it like that. Okay. So, just going to show you real quick. I'm going to go through. Here it is. Not in the center. You could probably center yours better than I did. There you go. Um, exit button will auto just like X you out of the whole thing. So, next you want to kind of create an object. This is going to be our score counter. And you don't want to have a sprite in here because you don't want something randomly showing up. Um, we're going to go into to, 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 to do score. The second heart thing. Oh, wait, we got to add event create. Second heart thing. So if hearts are equal to, well, we want to switch that to smaller than and one. And then we need to go into control and throw up two blocks. And then, not question. We need, where is it? Dude. Main 2, there's like a little info display message. And put game over, period. Okay. So, and then we want to restart the game after that. End of block. Okay. You want to add that to room 2. And show up there. So, start game. We can't see it up there, but it's up there. And I know it's really not doing anything at the moment, but it's something you want to put in now. Because what that essentially is going to do is make it so that when there's enemies and enemies kill us, these enemies make us go back to the main menu. Um, one of those do you need to go in every single one of your rooms when you make more rooms besides the title screen room. And it probably wasn't needed to show you in this video, but I don't know. I made it kind of early in the game because when I made a start button, it sort of gave me um, a restart screen to go to when I died. So the next video is going to partner with this. It's going to be monsters and stuff. I just felt like monsters would be a bit more in-depth to go through in this one video. So I should probably rename my rooms at some point. Um, this isn't really a score counter. Should probably rename a lot of my stuff. This should probably be called Object Upon Death, A P O N Death. But I mean, really, you can name it anything. And yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, if this video helped you, comment. Tell me it helped you. If this video is awesome, like it. Um, other than that, I'm sorry I don't make videos often enough. Um, if you guys bug me, I will make more videos faster. Other than that, thanks for watching. Um, bye!